With World of Tanks having over 500 tanks in the game, it is common to know that at least a handful of them are completely fake or made up. Anyways, this is a video that is about the fake tanks in World of Tanks and there's a part two covering the nations that I did not cover in part one. These nations will be Germany, France, Britain, Poland and Japan. This video includes vehicles that are both entirely fictional and are half fictional and half realistic. Right, let's start with the biggest tech tree in the game, or one of the biggest tech trees in the game. Germany has been in the game since the dawn of Time. Now because it's been in for so long and I've seen so many tanks be added to the tech tree, a handful of fake vehicles have been added in and I'm going to be talking about them. Firstly, the GW Tiger P. The GW Tiger P is a fictional design of the GW Tiger. It was inspired by that. The GW Tiger is a real vehicle. It existed. You can even see a picture of it which I'm going to put on the screen now. The history is that while Germany was trying to figure out what to do with the Tiger P's, there was an order to investigate adding a 21 centimeter gun to the chassis. However, this was not meant to be an artillery. This is probably the inspiration behind the Sturm Tiger and Sturm Panzer tanks, as they are technically called assault guns. Next is another artillery, surprisingly, the GW E100. Now, there is no doubt there was a plan for an artillery based on the E100 chassis, but this one has nothing to it. The only thing that Wargaming used for inspiration for this vehicle was a model which was created by a modeler, which I will put on the screen now. Now this next one is a little bit confusing to me and it will be confusing to you because, well, it does have a drawing. The Panther 2 is a vehicle that is based on a real design and does look very much like it. However, that design was for the Panther. Wargaming state that the Panther 2 is based off the Panther 2 and got its gun and some other stuff regarding the Panther 2, the same chassis, everything like that. But in reality, this design is from the Panther or the Panther. Now the Panzer E100 technically did exist. It is claimed that there is a blueprint out there, so it's not necessarily a fake. However, the blueprints never survived the test of time, and so Wargaming had to piece together what they would think was an accurate historical representation of this blueprint tank. Now this is the issue with blueprint vehicles. If the blueprint doesn't survive, they have to put together a make from different areas. This one was inspired by the Ferdinand or the Jagdpanther concept which I shown earlier. Coming up next is a heavy tank, the VK 4502P Alpha B. Now this is real, but it's fully upgraded version isn't. The tank had to be made to fit T9 somehow to fit the line that it was added in, but historically it would fit with the Tiger 1 at tier 7. There was no plan to add the E75's turret to the vehicle. If it was stock, it would be at tier 7 and it would be like the Tiger 1. The armour is a lot higher in game as well. Historically it would have been 80mm, however I forgive Wargaming for this one because, well, it was tested before its 80mm armour at the front and it was terrible. Now the last tank for the Germans, oh well the second last tank because I've got a special tank after this, is the E50M Alf M. Now similar to the Jagdpanzer E100, this is more of a historical fake. This is a rear transmission E50 and it is real, but the design is from Wargaming. The tank is just a further expansion by Wargaming on the E50. It's like a fake historical to put it simply. Now the final tank for the German tech tree that I'm gonna cover is a tank that isn't out yet. The Kampfpanzer 50T. Now this tank is a fake tank outright and was taken from a book which was from 1958 about what the future of tank warfare would look like. It's just been taken out of a book that has no connection to the German army or the government. Anyways, now we're coming up to France. Now France is a very nice tech tree that most of their tanks are real and existed. However, their problem comes mainly with unhistorical or fake elements to the vehicles. This problem spikes a lot from their heavy tanks. I'm gonna to talk to you about these ones in particular. Please note, these vehicles did kind of exist, but they have fake aspects to it or aspects that were never considered for this tank or some were just a mishmash of different tank. Firstly, the AMX 5120. This tank's armour is wrong and its visual model is also wrong. It's a hybrid between two different tanks. The tour is from the first AMX 5120 
and the flanks are from the 70 ton AMX 5120. The engine, nose and suspension is also from the AMX 65T. Next up is the AMX M451. This tank is real, but it's top turret however, the tank never equipped the TCB120 turret which was designed for the AMX50. The AMX M454 is the same like the 51, the top turret was never considered for the tank. The frontal hull armour is thinner than its real life variant. Well the Batch de Leon 12T, the hull is different from the IRL hull and apparently no version of it equipped a turret. Now England, their problems come with their top tier tank. Firstly, the Super Conqueror. This tank is a combination of two different Conqueror variants. The turret was intended to go into production, but the hull was just for firing range targets to test new ammunition. The Carnarvon Action X. The tank is real, and the Action X turret is real as well, but these were never planned to go together. And the Conqueror gun carrier, that world famous artillery piece, is completely fake. Well, apart from the gun. The gun exists, the BL9 9.2 inch howitzer is real and finally for the British is the FV 215B. This is essentially a fictional combination of two vehicles. The hull and the turret exist and Wargaming literally went like that and put them together and you got the FV 215B. The Polish tech tree is odd, its tanks all existed at least in drawings. Essentially their high tiers were never considered by the military and were only designed by cadets at a military academy. But these did exist in at least blueprint form and I will talk about at least two of them here. Firstly, the 50TP is designed by a cadet and existed basically in blueprint and the 60TP was designed by a cadet in the same military technical Academy of Warsaw. They were then put into the storage of the Technical Academy of Warsaw and Wargaming picked them up from their sources. The World of Tanks wiki states, unfortunately or not, top tiered Polish tanks never made it past the drawing board including the 50TP prototype. It is likely this tank never even existed on paper to begin with. Next up is Japan. Now Japan is an interesting one. A lot of people believe their high tier heavy tanks are fake. However, from the help of a community member called Legacini, I can tell you which ones are and some other stuff about them. Firstly, the OI Experimental. The OI Experimental is actually a straight up fake tank surprisingly. It is based on the half complete OI. The set of guns are fake and it's changed dimensions, mini turrets and different armour from the original OI make it just a fictional fabrication on Wargamer's part. The OI is real. This tank existed and it had a prototype and blueprints. This is the most historical Japanese heavy tank in the line and apparently this tank got as far as mobile testing. Next up is the Oni. The Oni is fictional but it's not fabricated by Wargaming. The tank had sketches and apparently blueprints. The Oni name was adopted from inaccurate artist impressions of the OI and the tank is technically fake. Although its blueprints are existent it's more of a historical fake. And now I'm going to twist it on its head. Everything I just told you might be false. These blueprints for the 100 ton OI were generally accepted up until after the release of the tech tree. However, it is not known that these blueprints actually existed at all. These drawings existed before the conception of the line. Wargaming was just fooled by it. Going full circle now, this is the same as the Oni. The Ono was based on outdated and inaccurate drawings of the OI. This one was called the 120 ton OI. The Type 4 and Type 5 have documentation. There is evidence in Russian documents, but those are the only documents that hold them and have references to them. There is also a Japanese fortification turret, which is on the internet and I'll put it up on the screen now. Some believe this is a Photoshop, but we don't actually know if this is real or not, so take it with a pinch of salt. What's interesting is that these come from Russian post-war documents, and no Japanese documents talk about the Type 4 or Type 5 at all or reference them. And this even comes from documents which have the OI and the Ho Re mentioned, which are both crazy tanks. To add to this, the Russian document was released and revealed in 2013, the sources of which are associated with Wargaming. It is more accepted the turrets were potentially real, 
but the hull design is completely made up by Wargaming. So that means the mobility, the hull design, the armour, the weight is all made up. Well anyways guys, this was the final part of the mini series about the fake tanks of World of Tanks. Anyways, thank you for all the love and support on the videos lately. You guys have been awesome. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and maybe subscribe. I upload information videos like these and other videos that are information based on Mondays and funny moments on Fridays. And if you enjoyed that, maybe consider subscribing. I hope you all have a nice day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.